And hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be solving the square one. So the square one is very different from the three by three as it has kite shapes, small triangle shapes, and the center layer is very different. So the notations are also different and we're gonna be discussing them. So first of all, a slash denotes a slice. A slice means turn this right face 180 degrees. That's one slice and another slice would be this. Next, per move in a algorithm, we will be using two numbers and then a slice. So first of all, an example of one zero slice means one is turn this upper face 30 degrees clockwise and then slice. Basically, numbers mean x, y, slice. x is the number of degrees you have to turn the top face, and y is the number of degrees you have to turn the bottom face. So 1 would be 30 degrees, 2 would be 60 degrees, and 3 would be 90 degrees. So basically, you have to multiply x and y by 30 degrees to get the number of degrees you have to turn the upper and the bottom face. A last example of notation would be 2, negative 1, slice, which is basically turn this face 60 degrees and the bottom face negative 30 degrees and then slice. There is also an easier way of counting where this edge pieces is 1 and these kite shaped um, corner pieces are 2. So this is 1, 1, and then when you align this piece here that's three because this is two and this is one so one plus two is three and then four six seven and so on so now that we have discussed the basics of the square one let's go ahead and scramble our cube and let's start solving 12 seconds later after scrambling your square one this is what it should look like as i've said before this is very different from the three by three so don't expect it to look anywhere near a cube when you scramble it at first. So the first thing we have to do is to make sure that this top and bottom face have a certain arrangement and then perform an algorithm on it to make this square one into a cube shape. There is no exact way of doing this arrangement but it has to be like this. So there are the eight edge pieces here on the top along with these two corner pieces for the upper face and on the lower face, there should be six corner pieces. So that's the arrangement. The algorithm is like this. So it's slice, next is two, four. So that's two here, and four for the bottom. So that's two, four. And then slice, next is one, two. So that's one here for the top, and two for the bottom. So that's two. Next is slice again. Finally, it's negative 3, negative 3. So that's 3 counterclockwise. 1, 3. Also for this, that's 3 counterclockwise. So that's 1, 3. And then finally, slice. And we have brought our square 1 into a cube shape. So once we have brought our square 1 into a cube shape, it is very important that you have the red face towards you and the green face to the right. So in that orientation, the yellow side will be on the top and the white would be on the bottom side. So for this next step, there are a total of four possible orientations. The first one is that these two yellow, on the top side, there are two yellow corners and two whites. And for the bottom side, it's the same. There are also two on the left and two on the right. So what we have to do here is to make sure that for the top side, the yellows are on the left, and for the bottom side, the yellows are on the right. And we have to perform this algorithm. One zero, that's one zero, and slash, and negative one zero, and that would be it. We have made this correct yellow side, and that's as well for the white side. The next one is that for the top, there are three yellows and one white. And for the bottom, that's three whites and one yellow. So what we have to do here is to make sure that for the top side, the white should be on the top left. And as for the bottom side, the yellow should be on the top right. So that's 
I'm sorry, should be on the bottom right. There, bottom right. And we have per to perform this algorithm. So that's one zero and then slice three zero one two three and then slice and finally negative one zero. So we have this yellow correct and the white correct. The next one is that there are diagonals on both sides white and yellow diagonals for the top and that's also for the bottom so the orientation here is that the yellow should be in a slash slash position for the top and for the bottom it should be in a backslash position and we have to perform this algorithm so that's one zero slice and then three three so that's two three as for this it's two three and then slice again and finally, negative one, zero, and we have completed the yellow and the white sides again. The next is that there are yellows on the left side for the top face, and as for the bottom face, the yellows are on the slash position. So we have to perform this algorithm. So that's one, zero, slice, and then zero, three, so that's nothing for here, and for the bottom, that's three, one, two, three, slice, and again, 0, 3, so that's 2, 3, slice. And finally, negative 1, 0. Don't mind the middle layer first. We're focusing on the top and the bottom layer. So we have completed the yellow and the white again. So after we have oriented the corners, we will be orienting the edges, which means we will be placing the yellow edges here and these white edges down here. So we will be orienting the edges now. So this for the top face the white edge should be facing away from us and for the bottom face the yellow face the yellow edge should also be facing away from us so we will perform this algorithm so it's zero negative one negative one and then slice negative three zero negative three zero slice and then four one one three four one slice negative four negative one so one three four negative one slice and then three zero slice and zero negative one and that would be it for the yellow edges so after orienting all the yellow edges and as well as the white ones the la one of the last things we need to do is to permute the corners so since all the corners on the yellow side is correct what we need to permute is this one so this corner and this corner from the white side are swapped remember always hold red to facing you and green on the right so what we have to do here is we have to swap these pieces and we follow this algorithm slice then three negative three three negative three slice zero three that's three and then slice negative three zero that's negative three and zero slice three zero one two three and then slice and finally negative three zero one three and slice so we have swapped these corners and now they are correct so once we have done the permutation of corners, lastly we will be permuting the edges. So as you can see, the orange and the blue are flipped as well as the red green. For the yellow side and for the white side, the orange and green are flipped. So what we have to do is to flip these two pieces and for the bottom side, we will be flipping these pieces. So we make sure that the pieces we want to flip are over here. So red and green. Okay. And then for the pieces we need to flip, they should be over here. So this algorithm is 0, 2. So that's 2 slice. And then 0, negative 3. And then slice. 1, 1. 1 here, 1 there. And slice. Negative 1, 2. Negative 1 and 2 and then slice and finally 0 negative 2 so we have just have to twist this 
And now, once we orient them, the red and the green are finally swapped, and the, as well as the green orange. But these two are still swapped, and we have encountered a parity. So the parity algorithm goes like this. So it's slice, negative three, zero, one, three, and then slice, zero, three, slice, zero, negative three, slice, zero, three again, and then slice, two, zero, there, and slice, zero, two, so move that. And slice, negative two zero for the top, and slice, four zero, top again, four, and slice, zero negative two, one two for the bottom, and slice, zero two, we put it back, and slice, negative one, four, that's four, and slice, zero negative three, we turn this here and slice and finally zero three and we have switched these two pieces as we have done that algorithm we have also flipped this piece so to fix this we just do a slice and then six zero slice again and then six zero again and slice and another six zero and we have flipped this piece again the final parity is that this piece and this piece are swapped, like red and the orange, so they need to be swapped. And the algorithm goes like this. So it's slice, 3, 3, and slice, 1, 0, slice, negative 2, negative 2, slice, and then 2, 0, and slice, 2, 2, 2 here, 2 there, and slice, negative 1, 0, and slice, negative 3, negative 3, and slice, and then negative 2, 0, slice, 3, 3, 3, 3, slice, 3, 0, 2, 3, slice, and negative 1, negative 1, slice, negative 3, 0, negative 3, 0, and slice, 1, 1, slice, and finally negative 4, and negative 3. So now we have swapped these two pieces and completed the parity. So that's all for the video on the square 1. So what do you think? Do you have anything to say? Let me know down below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to know if I posted a new video. Thanks for watching! Dice out!